Hello everyone, I am Lillian Kazaza and I will be teaching you how to do this cute animation. This intro animation with a circle going around it. So first, what you must do is of course, create the text of something you wanna say. Let's do, well, I'll do easy animation again. And just for the sake of simplicity, I am going to change this text. Um, then afterwards, find the Eclipse tool. You can change the, the shape by holding down Alt on Mac and I believe Option on Windows while clicking. Now that I have the Ellipse tool, I'm going to make a perfect circle by dragging this and make sure you don't make a mask like I just did. So click off of your text then create the circle, hold down shift to make it perfect. Now I'm just going to center this. And for to make the fill, no fill, click on the word fill and click this slash. Then I'm going to make the stroke. Um, we'll just do white again for simplicity and make the stroke line pretty beefy. I like to do 25 points. Okay, then... I'm just going to resize this so that it fits the words better. And then afterwards, I'm going to first animate. Um, I'm going to first animate this text so I can crop it there, crop there by using the left square brackets. And I am going to affect the scale of this text by clicking S. I'm going to click the stopwatch of scale and then go to 0%. Then let's say five seconds may be too much. So I'm just going to do three seconds and then put it back at 100%. And let's see how the timing is for this. Okay. And to get rid of this weird, um, since you see how it's coming from the side, to get rid of that, I just had it up. <laughs> um, you can move the anchor point to the middle. Yeah, and in other words, to do that, I just click middle align. There we go. So now pops up like that. Perfect. Then when it then to ease it in, since it seems very kind of robotic right now, we can click F9, which will auto do it ease in. Then at the end of this popping in, we are going to go to the contents of our ellipse and then click add and then click trim paths i believe under trim paths we're going to click the end stopwatch click zero and remember make sure your play stop is where the animation text ends so click zero then we're just going to go to let's just do 15 or two seconds after and click 100 percent select both keyframes click f9 and then this is our animation. Nice and easy animation that you can use for intros. And I decided to learn this because my Zenith is an animation and I thought it'd be cool to learn how to animate things in After Effects. So that is it for this video. And I hope you learned something.